Dave from the grave, we in the building. What's good? Gang, gang, gang. What up, boy? Man, chilling, man. Damn, it seemed like everybody got an interview but me, man. <laughs> man, you know, I've been trying to run you down. I told you I'm going to get there, man. You know how to put work in, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. It's, it's, it's definitely a blessing, um, you know, just to see you uh, on Say Cheese over the last year. Like, the progression, you know, from last year is crazy. Like, uh... Man, well, let, let's start from the beginning. You from Orlando, right? Yeah, I'm from the grave. That's what you call it, the grave? Yeah, that's what that shit like. Zombies everywhere. What, what part of Orlando was the grave? Rosemont. Because I know about uh, what what they call it, uh, Silver Star? Yeah, so Silver Star, that's like, you know, 15 minutes away type shit, 15 minute drive. So Rosemont, you know, we off of Pine Hills type shit. Silver Star off of Pine Hills and Rosemont off of Pine Hills too. Yeah, you know, I've been in Orlando plenty of times, and it ain't what people think. It ain't just Disneyland or Disney World. and Hell and, nah. uh, When we ride roller coaster, we ride Stolo over there. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, a lot of shit goes on in Orlando. Has it always been like that? Because now, you know, the music has changed everything. Mm-hmm. And it, it changed the culture of things, and... Stuff's more dangerous now. Has Orlando always been as active as it is now? I mean, shit, yeah, it's definitely been active, but it's definitely crazier now. The whole fucking world going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this rap shit, everybody going crazy. So, yeah, that shit definitely got a lot more static going on, you feel me? Because now it's public. So, it's like, niggas definitely, like, some shit where, like, niggas would have probably let slide. Niggas ain't let shit slide, you feel me? And do you feel like that's because rappers feel like they got to prove stuff to the fans and they got to live up to the image that they portray to be? Because, you know, when you're when you're a rapper, you are a um, you're a public figure. Now, you can't really squash beef because the fans don't think you soft and things like that. So you feel like a lot of this is because of rap, the, the rap character that, that these kids claim they are. I think I think it's like it's it's that, but like for like a lot of these folks, they really living this shit. You feel me? So like when it's like folks really living this shit, and then you put that shit in the public, it's like it ain't even about their rap image. It's just about themselves. It's just, it was just about respect, period. You know what I'm saying? So it was like they when people put that shit in the rap song, that shit you, you disrespect the nigga publicly, rapper or no rapper. You feel me? So I think that's what it is for real. Yeah. You know, one thing I can say about you, I don't see you on the blogs for the bullshit. You know, you go on YouTube, you see a lot of other uh, Orlando rappers and and things like that. But one thing about Dave from the grave, it's strictly rap with you. Yeah, for sure. I just chill, bro. You know, I get my money and I and I, 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 I put in the work, you feel me? That's, I'm focused right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody can't even knock me off my pivot, bro. You know, all day I get people trying to, you know, trying to come, come at a nigga sideways and shit, but... If a bitch don't really cross that line, I ain't finna just jump out there for that shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these folks be doing shit for clout too. Like they just want an Instagram response, Facebook response. I ain't doing no Instagram. I ain't doing no Facebook. When you say people come at you sideways, is it like, is that fans? Is it rappers? Is it people doing something for a response? What do you mean yeah, by that? It's just like, I can't, it's like, it be like little nobodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, niggas would just be like shit. Niggas just say anything. Like, niggas will say you you stole their flow, you stole their swag. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas could say anything. You know how that shit be. They could be like, oh, you not really a street nigga. You not really this. You not really that. You feel me? It's like, yeah. You the one trying to prove that I'm not. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to prove <laughs> shit. You feel me? Like, bitch, I'm just living. Yeah. So, you know, all the bullshit going on in Florida right now as far as, you know, the, the friction with artists and things like that. How do you stay out of the bullshit? Because... I know you're a rapper, so you're cool with certain people, and then it's going to be times where people want to cho- make you choose sides. You know how the politics and bullshit go. Mm-hmm. How do you stay out of the BS and, and just be a rapper? Shit. I just mind my business, bro. You feel me? Because it's like, before this rap shit is the streets, it's like, same way in the streets, if you see motherfuckers going at it and shit, and you ain't got nothing to do with it, you better stay out of that shit, because that's how niggas get hit up for no reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's folks out here dying dying just for commenting on shit on on on, on some shit that got nothing to do with them. You get what I'm saying? It's like if you ain't got nothing to do with it, why the fuck you even getting involved? That's clown shit. Y'all deserve to get hit up. 